From historic Danville, Kentucky, good evening, and welcome to this year's only vice presidential debate sponsored by the Commission on Presidential Debates. The debates uh, really brought, were very intentional to bring both national and international attention to Center College. Um, so it, it was a PR ploy of monumental proportions. I have friends around the world, uh, many of whom know that I went to Center. And when you know, the debate was going on, I would get calls or texts. Like, hey, you know this is happening on your campus? And I'm like, yes, yes, I do know. And to talk to other people about, wow, like I attended an institution that was able to host two vice presidential debates in the span of, of, of 12 years. Um, I felt, definitely felt very proud. I was struck by how polished a performance it was. And other, it, from the college's perspective, it was almost seamless. It was remarkable how well coordinated people being moved into Newland Hall for the actual debate the surrounding community, the security was very much in place, but on the other hand, it did not appear to be horribly intrusive to those who were not going to be on the inside of the gates, as it were. I think it's, it's pretty clear that a school of center size being able to host vice presidential debate caught a great deal of attention. There's virtually no other school of our size that can say that they've brought in uh, vice presidential or even presidential debate. For an event like the vice presidential debate, it has a, a chance to be a lot more impactful at a school like Center because we're so small and because students are so involved in volunteering with everything that goes on here. from the student side of it to the, to the staff and faculty. I just remember watching the transformation of, of the campus, the physical transformation of the campus, but the energy was amazing. I think we were all very proud that we were chosen again to host a vice presidential debate. Um, but I also thought for me as a, as a center alum at the time, it was a very proud moment. And I can report as it relates to performance that it worked in every way we could have imagined. We, in 2000, arguably set the standard by which other debates are still judged. I think it really did put center on the international stage, probably attracted some folks to this campus that might otherwise have been utterly unaware of it. How are the students there responding to all of that? Well, you know, we just left a wonderful event where we did our ticket, uh, student ticket lottery. We had 500 students sign up uh, for the ticket lottery, and we just picked 100 names. So 100 of our students are guaranteed to be in the debate hall to watch the debate. You know, this is a, just a hugely educational opportunity for our students. They study politics in the classroom. They're very engaged, but they're actually getting to see the political process uh, with a front row seat. And I love my friend here. I have, I'm not allowed to show letters, but go on our website. He sent me two letters saying, by the way, can you send me some stimulus money for companies here in the state of Wisconsin? We sent millions of dollars. You know why he said You did ask for stimulus money, Sure he correct? did. By the way, On he, two he occasions, we, had, we, we advocated for constituents who were applying for grants. You could almost cut the tension in the place. Just persons, not unlike myself, having a very difficult time not laughing at appropriate moments. Hey, that famous question that Ronald Reagan asked, are you better off today than you were eight years ago? Most people would say yes. And I'm pleased to say, see Dick from the newspapers, that you're better off than you were eight years ago, too. And most of it, uh, <laughs> and I, I can tell you, Joe, that the government had absolutely nothing to do with it. <laughs> Doing at appropriate moments. With all due respect, that's a bunch of malarkey. And In why fact, is that so? Because not a single thing he said is accurate. And we took some risk, and we put ourselves out there as a performer, as a college, and our people came through, our students came through, everyone uh, delivered. And I don't know why, when they asked to have a presidential debate, they didn't allow us to do that. Secretary Cheney, Senator Lieberman, your debate now joins American political history. We thank you. 
Well, you hear the appreciation here. And our thanks also to Center College, the community of Danville, and of course, the Bluegrass State, Kentucky.